Hey guys, uh, good evening. Uh, two nights in a row, but uh, this is a uh, actually a follow-up RGB mode that I did uh, today, and uh, I would like to share it with you. So uh, it works pretty nice. So what I did, I RGB mode uh, uh, Super Famicom, and the reason I did it is because um, again, being in Japan, I fell in between the chairs, which means that um, from one side I cannot use um, SCART component with this. The reason I can't use SCART component is even though SCART component, a Euro SCART component will work with the sync strike um, and then sync strike will be connected to the P, uh, PVM uh, the problem is like uh, the connection itself of the Super Famicom is configured differently than the Super Nintendo, the European Super Nintendo so I cannot use Euro SCART on on this, it will not give good result. Also, I cannot use Japanese uh, SCART because also it's hard to find, and uh, it will not work with the sync, sync strike. So what I used until now, you can see it's still connected. I've I've been using the the S video that has stereo and S video, and I was not satisfied. I I didn't know what was the potential, but I was not satisfied. And I saw, I thought, what the hell? I'm gonna try to do the same trick that I did with my uh, PC engine uh, yesterday. And uh, I had some spare parts, so what I did, I built I built another RGB amp. And then uh, I got from the internet, I got um, a diagram uh, underneath underneath the motherboard. First of all, I had to figure out how to pull it apart, but it was not very hard. Uh, these tools that I used for the PC Engine yesterday will not work uh, the security tool, you need like a, sp a specific one that it was not in the kit, I had it from before so this one worked this one will work for the core graphics and for the Super Famicom but it will not work for the CD-ROM so CD-ROM I used this kit and for the Super Famicom I used this kit so once I pull all the, I took out all the screws and there's many screws so what I did, I did like a little map uh, just glued it in a little map uh, just to make sure that it can connect all the screws back in the right places uh, it's not too hard to take apart I, you know this part right here it, you can pull it by hand so um, it doesn't unscrew there's just two screws here one here and one here and then you, you can just like, pull it up and then underneath uh, on the motherboard there's uh, 12 pins and you can find all the pins that you need uh, the 5 volt, the RGB, the, the sync and the stereo and once you're done with that uh, and that's and then came the, uh, the tricky part a little bit is to configure the space in it because you pretty much kind of have to redesign a little bit to Super Famicom so uh, the drawback if you can see here it's hard to see a little bit but it the motherboard doesn't go all the way down, but it's okay. It's no big deal. Uh, so then, the next tricky part was I first tested it; it all worked. So the next tricky part was inserting, because the most convenient point is to insert from the back, and you had had to make six holes and have have them nicely aligned, uh, so I can have all the component parts. And and then I had you know it was a little bit pain in the ass but everything got in eventually and that's it you know so I didn't know what would be the result but I was very 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 surprised so I'm gonna turn on the TV first and uh, it's gonna be on on S video so you can see the difference uh, in quality so let me just turn it on. So right now you're seeing the S video. And let me turn to RGB. This is RGB. What a difference. Again. S video. RGB. I'm gonna try to focus a little bit. It doesn't do justice, but trust me, the colors are just unbelievable. So again, this is RGB S video. 
I know I know this video looks looks a little bit better, but it's very very dark. RGB is a whole different a whole different uh, console. I mean, I'm so glad I did it. It it really w looks completely different. Um, yeah, I mean the the image doesn't do justice. It is brighter because what I see is like the real RGB colors. And in this video, it's it's really damn down so again. This is S video RGB, so it it is brighter. Trust me, uh, it really translates really nice. So yeah, so so this is how it looks like. I'm gonna put it together. The cool part is, you know, you can always switch the casing if you want a wider one. But yeah, it, I really recommend it. It works really like a charm. It's a whole different ball game. I mean, I I, I know most people are not in my uh, situation, but uh, for me, it worked really great. Uh, so again, this is RGB. And this is, you can see the color difference, it's, it's, it's completely different. RGB, S-Video. S-Video, RGB. Yep. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoy. If anybody has a question about it, I will be glad to answer. Have a good one.